Hi, my name is Dunne Galvarari and I'm the, one of the Paraclim Officers for Club Societies here at SETU. I'm Vicky and I'm the Events and Engagement Officer at SETU Students Union Carlo Campus. So the first question, Vicky, is tell me about your job in the SU. Okay, so as the Events and Engagement Officer, obviously I have to organise all the events and all the engagement for students. So the likes of on-campus entertainment for freshers and rag week, um, as well as off-campus entertainment with local venues that we work with. So Tully's, Morrissey's, Harry Burke's, the barracks, just basically local pubs where students might hang out after, you know, they're, um, they've had their fun on campus kind of thing. Um, basically, I just ensure that we still have a lot of engagement with the students because um, obviously like students want college to be more than just academic stuff. They want it to be fun as well. And, you know, it's like the, the years you're meant to remember for the rest of your life kind of thing. Um, so if you're just going from class to class, like that's all you're going to remember. So I'm here to kind of liven stuff up for liven stuff up for people. So what about you? So one of my uh, main goals I want to do is encourage students um, to be involved in those societies. Um, even if you ask the past student who's been here at SETU would say uh, they made loads of friends here at club societies and obviously uh, encouraged or was encouraged more to come into college. Mm. Um, I'd also say uh, that club society is also a great way of creating a college life as I would say instead of a uh, f like obviously you'd say you have a family home mm -hmm. you have your friends and family at home and in, in college life you can say oh well I have the boys or I have the girls mm -hmm. and I know that obviously you've helped me to feel more comfortable here in the student union so I feel like I want to give back like that's uh, a part of me wants to give back of what you gave so mm -hmm. that's one of the main jobs I want to do here in the student union. So the next question is, what helped you to settle in when you started in SETU? Well, as I answered in the previous question, um, obviously the student even helped me settle in a lot uh, because when I first came here, I was obviously nervous and I didn't really feel like I belonged there, to be honest. And then when the student union kind of helped me uh, get into the routine of things with the timetables and then mm -hmm. when I joined the club, obviously the rugby, um, it really helped me have like a schedule basically like so I had like a time schedule which was great in my opinion because instead of having an hour to myself sitting there and doing nothing which would have been really slow um, that really helped also another thing that helped was the peer mentors here in the SETU and that obviously helped as well where they were very helpful and uh, encouraging me to join clubs as well so I, again that's what I want to do for students here that come here and what about yourself? So for me, definitely it was the students' union as well. Like my first year was unfortunately online. So that was a little bit like I was in this in between of like, I haven't really had the college experience yet. So my second year was my first year. So it was really weird. And one of the first things I did was I joined to be a peer mentor. And so through that, I ended up working with the students' union. Um, I, had to <laughs> I had to dress up as a tiger. <laughs> For, for a full week of inductions, it was roasting, it was sweating, but it was absolutely worth it. And from then on, I, would, I was just really involved with the students' union. I, I was a class rep um, and just whatever events they would host, I would show up to, especially like drag shows and stuff like that. Um, I actually made a few friends just from showing up to events in the student union as well. Um, people that I still talk to till this day. Uh, yeah, it was, it was honestly just the students' union. Like It, it, it gives you this sense of actually being a normal person I feel like college can be very overwhelming and you go in and your entire I guess your entire existence is is all focused on like I am a student like that's who I am yeah but then like you go to the students and it's like a student union and it's like actually I'm a person and this is the time for me to like explore things and find myself like this isn't it obviously grades are important but this isn't all about the degree like at the end of the day like this is like four years of my life I need to do so aside from just college you know yeah so yeah definitely like it's the students union so you basically feel like a family in the students union yeah you, yeah like, like a weird little family yeah <laughs> random people just put together yeah, yeah. But it's just Great. like that yeah yeah and like do you know and like you just click with people so fast students union like you and me, like the day we first met, like yeah, we didn't you, say anything. I just threw, yeah, just I just threw tape, tape at you yeah. before I even said anything, yeah. and we've been friends ever since. Like, yeah, it's great. It's just good crack, like. 
So your third question figure is, uh, what advice would you give a new a CTU student? What advice would I give a new CTU student? Yeah. Um, just come to the student union, honestly. Like, even just come by to ask us questions. Do you know what I mean? Like anything you might be wondering about, or even just to chill, because college can be so overwhelming and there's so many buildings. I think it took me months to like figure out which building was which. There was so many like. I, I still don't know. I'm like when we before we came here and it's like come to the Eric building. I was like, what's an Eric building? Yeah. Like, I've been here I'm from like three. I was literally saying that today. I was like, what's an Eric building? I've never seen it in my life. Like what is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's like so. Yeah, it can just be so overwhelming for someone, and especially if you're coming from like a secondary school where it's like you're kind of almost like spoon fed everything in a way. It's yeah. like you know where all the classrooms are, and like you're given your homework, you're told exactly what to do, exactly where to go, what you can and cannot do, and then you show up to the, like a university and it's like you don't know where anything is, you're given assignments with maybe deadlines, and it's like it's all just like you have to really direct yourself you know you need to find like a path you need to find a routine that works for you um so i, f I feel like the student union can kind of help with that you know like yeah. you kind of you get a sense of i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know how to explain that like family really so yeah that's it what i would say family family yeah you get to experience family yeah well like it's a family setting i think a fam that's a very not safe for work family setting we have a bear in our office that has... Uh, <laughs> don't talk about that. That's, that's, that's a surprise for them. That's a surprise. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose, yeah, like, just the student union is so chill. I think that's what I'm trying to... That's kind of what I was trying to get at. Like, it's it's a very formal setting, and it's very overwhelming college. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like, and it's so difficult to make friends at the same time. You're not just like... I don't know, in secondary school, I feel like it's so much easier. Like, you have the one year, and everyone just kind of talks to each other, hopefully. And then, like, you're put into a massive big building of so many random people, and it can be so much more overwhelming. And then you go to the students' union, and there's just people there, and you can just chat, and... Yeah. Like, well, like, secondary school is, like, Larry Barracks. It's like, this is what you're doing, get here, get here, here, and then that's yeah. even finished for the day. Yeah. Whereas in college, it's more, yeah, you can do whatever you want, just make sure you get the classes, and then... Yeah. If you want, in your spare time, you can leave or yeah, do whatever sure. you want. Yeah. But, like, if I was to add on that, I'd say, like, even join a closing society. Because mm. I think that'd be a great way of making new friends as well. I think you're biased because you're the closing self officer. <laughs> Maybe. But, like, <laughs> I, no, but I honestly do think, like, that's a great way of making friends. Yeah. Like, even I'll come back to like, my first year in college, um, me joining the rugby team, mm. and the boys, like, they instantly. They just and, adopted you. Yeah, just adopted me, like, I like guess, as, <laughs> yeah. as a child. But, like, anyway. <laughs> no, but, like, do you know, like, and even when I was in college, like, I wasn't old enough to drink. Yeah. So, like, I couldn't obviously go out. So, the boys, like, obviously came up with a different idea of, instead of going to Tully's. Yeah. Or just, somewhere. Just anyway, they were like, oh, we'll do this instead. That's and really then, nice. Yeah, so they adopted a different way of doing things instead yeah. of drink. Yeah, and I definitely, I feel like definitely clubs and societies is a big part of it. I feel like people kind of forget about it, but... There is such a large demographic of students that doesn't drink. Yeah. And so, like, you tell people, like, oh, we have off-campus entertainment. Like, even if I organize something, if I were to focus solely on off-campus, like, people are like, okay, well, you're doing stuff totally. It's like, I don't drink. Like, what's the point of me going? So, like, yeah. th that's where, like, you need clothes and socks so people can actually do stuff that's not just yeah. drink. Well, I think it's drink, honestly. Because, like, yeah. even well, here, the UC... Uh, the, yeah. Well, the UC, so the UC, the UC no kind of place here. Here? Yeah. Oh, in Cardo? Yeah. Yeah, but it closed, didn't it? Yeah, unfortunately. But they used to be. You need to fix that. It's a closed assault officer. I know, I have to. That's right. You need to have go-karts going around the college. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm going to hold you to that. Okay. Okay, so the next question is, what's your favourite social event in the university? It's a difficult question, that one is, because there's so many good ones. But I'd say Rag Week, because of what happens going on on campus and off campus. Mm -hmm. There's so many funny things that happen. Like even, what was it? Was it the drag queens that came in? Yeah. Last year, year? That was absolutely <laughs> funny. Like I, I just, I stayed there for hours, like because it was yeah. that funny. Um, and then off campus, obviously, there's a good, like even if you don't drink, but yeah, it's still great. The vibes are good. Yeah.
Hmm. And what about like do you? I I definitely agree. I think like rag week, freshers or rag week. But well, rag week is obviously like a bigger one because like everyone's kind of settled in at that point and everyone knows what rag week is, you know. But definitely like I might be a little bit biased because I'm like organizing it, but on and off campus, like I agree with you, on and off campus is both really good. Um, I aim to have a lot of, I would guess, really interactive activities on campus this year as well. So I feel like that's definitely like what whatever experience you had with Rag Week, like it's gonna be up here. Like that that, that was your experience, but like next experience is gonna be up here. Yeah. I've got I've got high hopes for it. That that much high hopes. Yeah. Like, I really do. I've got great things planned. Like I'm pressing five stars every night. Yeah. Even in campus. Yeah. Okay. I'd expect that. I'll yeah. Hold, I'm holding up to, if you're holding me up to like go okay. <laughs> I'm holding up to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, but the, and obviously like the the nightlife as well. It's really great because like all the local businesses as well. A lot. Like, everyone is just involved in rugby. Do you know? Like everyone goes out. Um. So there's like that sense of community. It's like all of Tullow Street, like you go out during Rag Week and it's just like the place to be, you know? Yeah, everyone, like, I swear every company like around us is just like, yeah, we're spawning it and we'll give you whatever you need, there you go. Absolutely. That's it. Just yeah. to improve student life and all that. Absolutely. But yeah, also, like, it's called Raise and Give Week, you know? So, like, obviously they want to kind of support that and push that and be like, okay, like, we really need to raise a lot of money for charity. So that's, that's like a goal. I, I want to raise, like, more than we did last year. I actually didn't know Rag stand for Raise and Give. Did you? No. I, oh, thought, yeah. I thought it was just rag week, that's it. You thought it just means rag? Yeah. Just it's rag. rag. <laughs> it's just rag. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you know, Raising Give Week. We It's the entire week dedicated to raising money and giving to charity. It makes a whole lot of sense now. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not just like, go to Bender. It's like, <laughs> rag. charity. Yeah. So your fifth question here, Vicky, is some students study online or can't attend evening events. What advice would you give them uh, about the social side of the university? I suppose an alternative would be um, social media. Do you know what I mean? Like text your classmates, set up a group chat, um, set up a Discord server, join our Discord server. The SU Discord server would be a great one because if you can't come in on campus in person, um, that that can kind of hinder with how you actually network and meet people. You can't really just randomly meet other students. But if you join our Discord server, you can meet any any other student from any other department um, and just make friends that way as well. Yeah. Um, but also, like I suppose, from your your perspective, with like what kind of societies would you have? Well, we have the eSports societies, and even like I'll give them big credit here from last year. Uh, they were actually one of the first Irish colleges to go off to the States and compete in one of the big leagues over there mm. and they did fairly well for them what they did. So that's another one thing that they can do is obviously get more players and hopefully if they go to the States again and win the whole thing. Yeah, that'd be cool. Imagine getting involved in society and then just going to the States. Like, that's great. That's like, a great experience right there. Yeah, and you travel the world as well. Yeah. Like you get to experience new things. You don't stay obviously in Ireland. You go. Yeah. America, or it could be different next year. It could be, or this year, yeah. to Switzerland or Germany. Yeah. Like you get to travel the world, which I think is dead. That is dead, yeah. Like you get to experience new cultures, new, new everything, even new societies over there. Wow, yeah. yeah. Isn't college just great? Yeah, it's dead. Yeah. SCTU specifically. SC, yeah. SCTU no, 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 no other college is great. It's <laughs> just us. It's just us, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> we do try to have a large online presence as well. That's something we're really focused on, especially ever since like the dark times, 2020, you know, like a lot of stuff has really moved online. So there's like that good hybrid setting for things. So oftentimes like we go live and we have giveaways and even when we have events in the students union, like when we have drag queens performing or uh, stuff like that, we just we just go live. But even, even not so much from like an entertainment perspective, like we all are always, like all you have to do is email or text us or ring us or whatever. So like, even if you you want to be involved in the students union, like we're always there to involve people, you know? Like yeah. we're more than happy to take people in. Like, yeah. say, like recruiting that, <laughs> almost. Yeah, I'd say that's probably one of our goals this year is trying to have more of an online presence than last year. Absolutely, yeah. Because they, I feel like last year, we weren't really... 
as present online whereas this year yeah could probably be a bit more i think our online engagement did drop like i do once i learn how to use tiktok and it's embarrassing i'm 21 years old like i should be i should be flying at this but i actually like i barely know how to record something on tiktok but once i kind of get the flow of it i want to post tiktoks like all the time yeah you know like, I, I want to show a side of the student union to students that like they haven't really seen because especially from like an out, outside perspective like when i was a student and i wasn't really that involved yet with the students union it just looks like just a bunch of lads just sitting there and well, they're like working and they're having the crack but like i don't know what's really happening so i feel like definitely tiktoks like it you can kind of really see all the different officers their personalities and like what they're about you know and like you feel that kind of little you kind of get that that connection yeah, yeah even me. even if the students that can't come in even like send us an email and say like oh i'd love to see this i can make requests yeah and say like oh well i'd like to see whatever like and we yeah. go oh yeah that's actually a good idea we'll do it and even if we do like a poll they're saying oh we're a bit stuck on these which one would you like to see yeah and i love feedback that's one thing i think i mentioned it in my manifesto when i was running for events that like i just really want to focus on student feedback because there's there's like an odd thing where like students won't go out of their way to tell you if something's missing yeah because they feel like it's they might feel like oh it's not really my place to say so it's very important for us as officers to give them the platform and to actually reach out and say we want your feedback like prompt them with questions so that they can give their feedback and that's the only way we can really understand like get into their their minds and understand what students actually want you know what i mean yeah, no, I'd agree 100% that feedback is massive, like, yeah. even in my department, like, I need to know kind of everything, because I can't tell, yeah. like, straight out the bat, oh, you need this and this yeah. and that. Yeah, I'd rather if a student walked to me and said, look, this society, our club, is yeah. not up to standard. I feel like we could do a lot more, and I go, okay, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, and with feedback now, you know, you need to put cards out there. Yeah, no, you've already established that, I have to try and get that sorted now. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome.